It's all you got to say. says Jesus said to her I am the resurrection and the life he who believes in me though he may die he shall live and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die do you believe this somebody say amen amen, amen. let us pray heaven father so grateful for your loving kindness and your mercy on today God we come in remembering of uh, Miss Willie May uh, Henderson on today, God. We thank you for a life well lived. God, we thank you for the family that is here. We're praying for our comfort for the family and all the friends that knew her, God. All the grandchildren and all the family. Just bless them, Lord, as they go through this time of memory on her on this evening, God. We thank you right now, this morning. <laughs> Yes, we thank you, Lord, for all things. We thank you for her and all the family here. And bless those that are going to have words today, God, in the memory of her and those that are participating on this program on today. And we can never give your name enough praise, God, for the things you're doing in our lives because you've been good to us. We all have a testimony of what you've been doing in our lives and we just like to tell the goodness of you all today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We thank God for this time. And we're going to ask uh, Sister Trinda Smith to come, that she might bring her solo to us at this time. Let's say amen for her. Amen. Before I get started, I just want to say that. Um, and really, we all know is a strong woman. She was a strong woman, a fighter. And, you know, we all have to be strong for her like she was strong. Okay. So, this is for the family and family. So, before I get started, I want everybody to sing with me if you notice something. Because usually it's a quiet in the back. So, okay. There's a leak. In this old building, and my soul has got to move. My soul, my, my, my soul. There's 
There's a leak in this old building yard And my soul I've got another building This old building keeps on leaning in my soul. It's got to move. My soul. My, my, my soul. This old building keeps on leaning in my soul. I've got another building. Before this time, another year, I may be dead and gone. But before In my brand new home, oh, this old building keeps on sinking, y'all. In my soul, my soul, my 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 soul. This old building keeps on sinking. In my soul. I've got another building. When I can read my title clear to mansions in the sky, yeah, yeah. I'd be farewell. This old building keeps on sinking in my soul. I've got another building. Guess what? I'm moving on, moving on, moving home. When you hear me sing my song, I'm just moving a little closer to home. When you hear me praising the Lord, I'm just moving a little closer to home. There's a leak in this old building in my soul. I've got another building. Wonderful song. Leaking the old field. Oh, yeah. <coughs> right move. I know a lot of them still in them leaks right now. <laughs> in the old building that we're living in right now. One day, we all going to have to move. We thank God for that beautiful song. And we have some church resolutions. Is there any right now? From any, any church resolution at this time? You can come read it at this time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. First, I'm going to go out to my families, to Bishop Gary Blaise Jr., to First Lady Lady Adrian, to Mother Rose, to everyone in the house, to the pastors. I thank God for being saved, sanctified, filled with God's precious Holy Ghost. Hand all the mind but to come out and lift up my king. And his name is Jesus, glory to God. I try to lift up Jesus in every situation. Yeah, yeah. Glory to God. I have a resolution on today. House of Refuge, Pentecostal Holiness Church, 1822 Bayside, Dallas, Texas, 75212. I come out to encourage my mother, Lily Smith, 
Mother Rose and her children and the family and everybody here. Yeah. Psalms 35. For his anger endured but a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, yeah. but joy cometh in the morning. Yeah. Psalms 121. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help, glory to God, come from the Lord which made heaven and earth. There was a poem that once said, my sister, my sister, you always been my friend. I love you so much, so deep within. At times when I was weak, you took my hand, telling me I could and telling me I can. My sister, who I love so dear, times when I cried, you always had an ear. I remember the times when I was sick. You was there for me, you was my healing stick. You stood by my side and carried me. I'm not about to die. But if I go, I'm going to a place I won't have to die no more. I love you, my sister. Life seems hard, but you always be remembered and right in my heart. I'm going to submit it this seventh day of December, the year of our Lord, 2023. Has a Refuge Fellowship of Churches, most honorable Bishop Gregory Lacey Jr., Secretary Mother Molly Dawson, really informed by Mother Juanita Smith. Y'all be in carriage, family. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for the resolution. At this time, we're getting ready to uh, have a uh, two minute um, remarks. And we ask asking all you that want to say something to the family to encourage the family or just re remember the life of Mother Willie Hanay. Get us on today to encourage the family to just say something that was funny that she made you laugh. <laughs> Whatever she did for you in your life. This is the time we're going to do it at this time. I'm going to ask all those that want to do it to just form a line over here to my left. Everyone that's going to do it, I just want you to keep getting up random, randomly. Uh, just come on if you're going to say something. Let's stand at this time and, and, and form a line over to my left. Okay, so what I have to say is, I can remember from Aunt Willie that a little time she would come over, I would meet her. I'd be like, hey, Willie, she said, hey, and she'd give me a kiss. She'd be like, She got to the hospital. I went in there and um, I was like, Angela, really, can I sing for you? So I, I held her hand and I saw um, the Lord made a way for me. And um, I said, Angela, really, you want the day after she liked the song? She said, mm hmm. So um, I just I, I showed her a picture of my homecoming. She said, she said, she said, she told the phone. She said, this is what I said. She said, Every time, I, that's why I always remember that that, that from her that she said mm -hmm. that I'm pretty. Thank you. 
Thank God for all of you that had the march on today to lift up the family and say encouraging words about Mother Willie May Henderson. We thank God for all of you. And it's just time we're going to have our elder come, Dr. Clarkson. He's going to come and have remarks at this time. So let's say amen for him. Amen. amen. One thing that we do know. And when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, that we are never going to die. That this step that she's taking now is a stirring in heaven. I want the family to know that she's in a better place. And, you know, when the body dies, the spirit comes, the angels come and get that spirit and take it on into heaven. And one day, we all going to go to the new room and we're all going to be together. So I want y'all to do something. Just remember what she stood for. Remember what she believed for in your life. And you walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. And we all got a journey that we have to go on. Amen. And the final journey is going to end up here. But that's not the end. Just remember, she's not in that body. The spirit went on to heaven. She's resting in heaven right now, looking down, smiling on y'all, telling y'all to go forth, finish your race. And I'm going to see you soon. God bless you. Amen. 
Amen. Thank God for all of you. I should like to encourage the family on today and let you know that as I look over this audience and I see all the different faces, I see some young, I see some old, and I know some of you, I just like to take an inventory. How many of you acknowledge the Lord as your personal Savior? Amen. Amen. I see some hands raised. I don't see all hands raised. But you that raise your hand, I want y'all to help me sing a little song because I know all of my life, God has been good to me. Since I accepted him, he has never let me down. My wife went home to be with the Lord last year, and I just thank God because, you know, we had uh, 42 years together. And I admonish all you men that are married and you have a wife, treat her like she's a queen, my bride be king. Amen. Because uh, you may not get another chance. So this is the only chance we have right now to lift up Jesus while we're in this room. And I just like to say, down through the years, God's been good to me. Down through the years, God's been good to me. I just want to say, down through the years, God's been good to me. Help me say, God really been good to me. Can y'all be saying this? All of my life, God's been good to me. All of my life, God's been good to me. All of my life, God's been good to me. I just want to tell you, God's really been good to me. Hallelujah. I just want you to say that and get it out. I know God has been really good to some of you today. Because if you woke up this morning with breath in your body, God has been good to you. He gave you one more chance. Oh, yes, to get it right with him. Even on today, if you don't have it right, you have a chance. One more chance to get it right with him. So we thank God for this time. And we're going to ask us Trinity to come back with a solo. Let's say man for her, she come, and after she has finished, she'll be in the hands of the eulogist for today, Bishop David Smith. Let me say man for them as they come. Amen. He's a long time God. Yes, he is. Yes, the children. 
somebody kid, I mean mama, dad. And I look and say, one aunt, three uncles, see Uncle Elba, Tony, Junior. That's our legacy that's left. So with that said, I just want to say to the family, we have been so much close to each other because everybody got their own life. I understand completely. I traveled a lot and I enjoyed the family units that you put together for us. So I got a chance to see family that I haven't seen before. The cousins that I haven't seen. And I couldn't wait to tell my son and my children that y'all, the next thing, y'all gonna have to be, I don't care where you are, you're gonna fly in. You're going to meet them because you never know who you run into. We need each other. I don't care what you, how your little mind try to trip. I don't like her. I don't like, listen, we family. 
If anything, I'm going to preach today is understanding why we here. Why our parents did what they did to keep us together. Listen, we grew up in West Dallas. I knew it, all my first cousins. Listen, Denise, Cardell, Normally, Nathan. Listen, where's Pat? At home? But praise the Lord. We need to be here. These occasions, we only get together for death and, and marriage. And, uh, let's get together without all this. So when this do come, we can celebrate. Like the scripture said, rejoice. In as much as you are partakers, I said rejoice. So I'm here to rejoice over and willing doing. I used to tease her and she used to mess with me all the time because I was one of the bad one in the family. She used to say, go ahead. She said, you need a whoop. I said, who me? She said, you need you. She said, hey, drink some of this. Y'all yeah, know what I'm doing right She got she know I put me to sleep. But I did sleep. But I love a women spirit. She she was a quiet, gentle, loving woman. And she raised five. And I noticed most of our aunts and uncle had five kids. Yeah. Five of us, five of them. And then I noticed I used to tease her and say, Why you named after my dad? She said, Your daddy named after me. I said, You got a boy name. She said, so what kind of name you have? Please just go back and forth. She just showed me love and care. And I appreciate it. And I want to tell you, Denise, listen, you got to keep it strong for her. Pam, Nathan, Kyle, listen, y'all got children. She got grandkids that they going to look to you. They can't look to granny no more. She gone. So whenever they leave, they leave a legacy. Do that make sense to anybody? Well, I ain't gonna be here for you long. I always bring my good book. Because if I'm gonna tell you anything, it's gonna be written. You may not like it how I give it to you, but I'm gonna give it to you like God gave it to me. Amen. And I think one of the main problems with us as a people, we don't have understanding. Our understanding is so vague and listen. Have you ever heard when people say you got a bad understanding? Yeah. yeah. Because you don't have no good understanding to find out the truth. And here's the truth, the word of God. Everybody claim to be Christian. See, I done been through this Christianity and religion saying, I'm not about that. I'm about the truth. And how to live free. Without worry. I don't let my brother and sister and children. They can't worry me. No, no, no. Don't bring that to me. Get understanding what life is about. Then you can live. Listen, you can live and not die. I ain't talking about leave this body. But you can live in peace. Can I talk to somebody? Peace, the scripture says, surpasses. All understanding. Well. And it will rest, rule, and abide in you. For his more. Am I talking to anybody this yeah. Love the scripture. Proverb. Write it down if you don't have your Bible. Most of you don't. But you can go home and read this so you know I told you the truth. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says this. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thine neck. Write them upon the tables of thine heart. So should thou find favor in good understanding. Then it reads on and says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. He should direct your path. Are y'all still there? Yeah. I'm talking about understanding. Now. Then I'm going to jump over to the name of the Lord said, By wisdom it has found the earth. By understanding are y'all getting this? By understanding, he said, I established it. I want you to know, in all your giving, get understanding about who you're dealing with, your friends, your family, 
Am I talking to you yet? Listen, about death, about life, about situations, circumstances, sickness, disease. I'm going down your road. Listen, every time things pop off, you better understand why it's happening. Why a bump popped up on your body. Understand why it is. Understand why, why you're sick. You'll never get well until you understand how to get rid of it. You'll never understand why God allowed people to die and allowed people to be born. He said, David, tell them they got to get understanding. The only way they're going to get understanding is if they come to me. Because I'm the only one who can give them clear understanding about their mama, about their daddy. We don't know what's going on. We don't know what our mama and daddy really did. We, that's our mama. That's our daddy. This, you better understand why you still here. You better understand, it's a day coming, you're going to meet the maker. Ain't nobody going to get out of here alive. Oh, I know I messed you up then. No, you ain't getting out of here alive, baby. No, no, you going to have to die in order to live. I said something right there. Listen, nothing can come to life until I can die like you die to yourself. The Bible said, get understanding. And now that I understand this, God said in Proverbs, the fifth chapter, the first verse, my son, attend unto my wisdom and buy thy ear to my understanding. Then your days will be lengthy. Yeah. Right. Am I talking to anybody yet? Yeah. Okay, let me go back over to the fourth chapter. Uh -huh. It said, hear my children, instruct yourself unto the purest of the Father, saying, and it says it just like this. It said, and attend to understanding about life. The fifth verse said, get wisdom. Yeah. Get understanding. Yeah. Get, for, for, forget not, neither decline the words that's coming out of my mouth. Yeah. All right. Understand about life. Yeah. Understand what you're up against. Yeah. Get an understanding who yeah. you're dealing with. Understand your children when they step out of order. You say, I understand why they're doing that. I've been there. I've done that. Uh -huh. So I have to understand how to bring them back. Because yeah. I've been there and done that. Amen. So I know my son and my daughter, my daughter, listen, you ain't did nothing I ain't never tried to do. So let me tell you how to overcome that. Yeah. Let me tell you how to come from that come before on. you get caught up where you can't get out of that. Yeah. Well, the seventh verse said, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. I come to tell you that your understanding is off track. Can you get in the scripture and find out how to live and not die, how to have and not want. How to stay well and not stay sick. Am I talking to you? Oh, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a trip about life. But when I found out what God said, mm. I was like, ooh. I, like, I couldn't put it down. Like, I had to find out some more. What you said back there? And he said, I'm closing. He said, in the seventh chapter, he said, bind them up on your fingertip. Write them up on the table of your heart again, he says. Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister. Say unto understanding, you are my king woman. You teaching me how to live and not die. How to surpass, su surpass all understanding. Yeah. Understanding that if my mother and my father gone, I had to grow up and, and figure it out myself. Because said, now you can't figure it out yourself. It ain't about you. All you the labor and that are heavy late. He said, come. I got to rest for you. Some peace for your soul. Listen, you can't drink yourself to life. You drink yourself to death. You can't smoke yourself to hell. Listen, you smoke yourself to death. You can't do nothing but get right. Stop tripping about who's this and who's that, what's doing this. Listen, work about yourself. Self is a problem with God. The Bible said, deny yourself. If you're going to come unto him. But if you're going to come unto him. First recognize. How to understand. 
what's happening. I want to say to you again, likely but a vapor. It's like a cloud of smoke. You hear one minute, you go on the next one. Nobody promised you anything. God didn't promise you nothing. But I'm going to be there for you. Lord with you, always, even to the end of the earth. So I come to tell somebody, hold your head up. Yeah, get happy about life because you don't know the next minute you're going to be here. Yeah, yeah. Everybody going to visit. I came to that conclusion. I ain't going to just get out of here and skate out here like I'm all there because God called me to preach the gospel. Listen, it's more so for me to understand what time it is. Can I tell you I love you enough that you can get the truth? And I'm going to pray for you. Is that all right? Amen. Lift up your holy hand, you little child. Hand. Lift them up. The Bible said lift them up holy hand. You can't be holy, God got to make you holy. In your quiet time, God said, let me speak to you. Are you willing to have an ear to hear? Father, I pray for each and every one, including young folks, that's going to be in a hell of trouble coming up. Be with them, God. Let the older people teach them what's ahead of them. I pray for each and every one, God, that you will heal sickness that's in their body right now that they don't even know that it's coming to take them out. I rebuke every foul spirit of the enemy that they may come to the understanding that you're God and you're God all by yourself. Hey, hallelujah. And beside you, there is no other. And I thank you for each and every one of my kingdom, my cousins. Bless this innocent family. Bless these sons that grew up in their mother's bosom. Bless these daughters that she taught them how to survive. And I thank you for them right now. Let your love fall on them, God. That covers every sin that they may have fallen short of. And save them for your glory. In the name of Jesus. If you agree with that prayer, say amen. amen. Say it again. Amen. Give yourself a round of applause. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.
a place where there'll be nothing, nothing to do but simply walk around heaven all day. When I get to heaven, when I get to Get together and walk all around heaven Sunday, my Lord, Sabbath will.